This is a mysterious and haunting storm about toys that are forgotten, discarded, living in Toy Graveyard with the leadership of the doll princess, <laughs> Bella. What are you doing without lighting the lights? Huh? <laughs> Happy birthday, doll princess! <laughs> However, unlike the scary appearance here, all toys love each other like family. <laughs> but sometimes, feeling such happiness, Bella's eyes often look towards the fairy kingdom and remember the past. Many years ago, she was the favorite doll of the beautiful, kind-hearted princess who loved to collect toys. Violet, in particular, in the fairy kingdom, there is a story that if an owner has enough love and care for his toys, those toys will have life. Although the reality of this story is not clear, but for the children, they always want this to become a reality, including Violet. Therefore, Violet always put her thoughts and feelings into the toys, especially Bella. And this has helped the toys really have life. However, according to the unspoken <laughs> rules of the toy survival world, toys must not allow their owners to know that they have a soul. If done wrong, the fairy kingdom order will be turned upside down, as everyone will just have fun with toys without real friends, neglecting work. So Bella and the toys want to talk to their boss, but they can't break the rule. And then one day, Bella and the toys wake up. They find themselves in a scary box. When they got out of the box, they found themselves in front of an old wooden house. Oh no! Where is this? Where's Princess Violet? Mm. Has the princess abandoned us? Hearing these mm. things, Bella, a gentle, intelligent, optimistic, positive doll princess, <laughs> stood up to reassure everyone. Everybody calm mm. down. Mm. Maybe there's been a mistake. Let's find our way back to the castle to find out. However, even if they overcome the difficulties to return to the castle, the truth is also very cruel. <sighs> Bella felt her heart breaking. Mm. But she still tried to be strong and optimistic to help the toys overcome the shock, as well as find a safe place for them to stay to avoid wild animals. After a few days of trying to encourage everyone, Bella and the others went to the remote graveyard. They began to build a small kingdom for abandoned toys, and from there, they went to bring other toys and welcome them to the kingdom. A few years later, the kingdom welcomes a new toy named Lily, and this is the same toy that replaced Bella. Although Bella is a little bit frustrated and not as warm as the other friends, as the head of the kingdom, Bella still welcomes Lily. Welcome to Toy Graveyard, the heart healing place of distracted toys who... Thank you, I'm ready for a new life. It must be a very interesting place. Bella is relatively surprised at Lily's attitude and expression, because often, other toys when they come here on the first day always feel sad, not yet except the fact that they are abandoned. But Lily is very natural, sociable. Bella was glad to have such an optimistic toy. Over time, Bella realizes that her new friend is acting strangely. For example, Lily was always happy to make new friends, but every time the conversation ended, the other toys were tired and heavy. Some of them even sneaked out of Toy Graveyard at night. When Bella expresses this to the other toy friends, they think that Bella has an aversion to Lily, but Lily is enthusiastic and energetic. While Bella was thinking and returned earlier than planned, she saw Lily rummaging in her room and found the gift that Violet hmm. gave her before, which is being stored very carefully in the closet. Turns out, a noble-looking person who wants to start a new life with people like this Bella doll princess is a fake, still storing the things of her former owner who abandoned her here. Why, do you know that this is something the previous owner gave me? Because during that time, I was with the owner of us. I realized how much Violet loves you and what kind of creed there is between you two. And even though Violet threw her away, why? Violet still can't love me like you. Even after so many years together, Violet has finally abandoned me. I don't know what happened between Violet and you, but after all these hmm. years here, I have learned to accept the abandoned past, respect the new life of the old owner, and make a new life better than the old one. Lie! There is nothing wrong with a toy that doesn't have a grudge against the owner who abandoned it. They were the ones who had the old place, so they threw us out like that. So we have to avenge them rather than forgive them. 
The other toys heard the noise and rushed to them to examine the situation. Everyone is here too. I want to share with them the secret story of this badge. Afterwards, Lily discusses the dispute between the two over the toys, as well as arousing suffering with their former owner for more pressure, forcing Bella to destroy the gift. If she kept the gift like that, the feelings would still be deep with the old owner, and if one day Violet returned and picked her up, she would not have stayed with everyone to build this place, right? I... Hmm? <gasps> hmm. Lily's words are true! Bella, destroy that item to prove everyone's trust! Correct, correct! Hmm. Sorry. Because even though I have a new life here, I still cherish this gift of memories as a motivation to help me move forward. Because if Violet hadn't taken care of me and taught me before, I wouldn't have had the courage to lead people like I do now. However, the toy residence's fate is shaken by Lily's earlier words that Bella still keeps the gift as a wish to return to her former owner and leave them here. So in their anger, they mostly support Lily and decide not to listen to Bella's explanation anymore. Moreover, they follow Lily's request to arrest Bella and her supporters and join Lily to take revenge on the former owners. After a moment of reassurance and thought, Bella discovered a way out on high. So although she was heartbroken, she broke the badge into two pieces to find a way to climb and finally escape. If Lily had hated Violet so much, they would have gone to Violet's castle. Let's come and see. As expected, Lily's group was wrecking havoc throughout the castle, where the charity was being held into a mess. While Bella's other friends try to stop the other toys, Bella finds Lily and tries to talk her out of it. However, while the two were fighting, they spilled the flower pot. Princess, Princess Violet! Violet! Hmm? Princess Violet, are you alright? I'm fine, but I think I heard someone calling me. As for Bella, when she saw Lily's nervous reaction to Violet, she finally understood everything. Hmm. Lily, these actions of yours are just because you love Violet so much that gave birth to such great hatred. No! Why are you so worried about Violet? I... Lily... If you only knew revenge, you'd be the one who would suffer the most. In life, we need to forgive and learn to accept change for the better. Didn't the people at Toy Graveyard like you too? I hope you will let go of the past and join me in rebuilding this life. I got it. But while they were talking, one of the guards saw a suspicious shadow upstairs and aimed at it. Luckily, Violet came to their rescue. Princess Violet! I didn't know you were there, so... A small scratch, and mm. I have things to do here. Mm -hmm. Then will you continue to mm. keep everyone safe? After seeing the guards leave, Violet starts talking to <gasps> Bella and Lily. I didn't expect to see you here after causing so much damage to you. But please don't be afraid and talk to me. I won't hurt you, Princess, Princess Violet. Violet. As it turns out, <gasps> Violet had seen Bella and Lily's silhouettes earlier. So she rushed up to confirm the incident and witnessed her toys talking. This reminds Violet of when she was a child, she was always given a lot of toys by the royal family and loved collecting these friends. Although Violet loved them, she realized that poor children loved them too, so she learned to give and share good things for everyone. So she gave the old toys to a charity house where there would be people who loved the toys better as well as giving the toys new life cycles. And today, I was at a charity event to share and give away my toys when all of a sudden, something went wrong and I realized I was one of the reasons behind this. I'm sorry, I didn't know the story behind it and only blamed the princess for abandoning me. I am also sorry that I did not expect this action to cause such a deep wound on you, especially Bella. The first time Violet prepared her things for the charity event, the princess was so mm. nervous that she accidentally made a mistake during the transfer, and Bella was taken to the charity house without Violet's knowledge.
At the time, Violet went to the small house to find Bella, but she did not find them. So the royal family gave Lily dolls to replace Bella, but Violet still remembered her doll princess. Don't be sad because I don't blame you. And no matter what happened in the past, I still believe you and Lily will have a better life. Thank you. If you want to stay here, I'm ready to welcome you all back. Maybe... We'll choose to go back to Toy Graveyard and continue our journey with you. Well, I believe in you, and I promise to keep the story of toys with souls a secret from everyone. In the end, Lily tries to gather the toys together <laughs> and apologizes to them for her mistakes to Violet and Bella's mm. cheers. <laughs> Moreover, thanks to Violet's help, the toys can choose to stay at the palace and choose to stay with the new owners or return to Toy Graveyard. What if we were suddenly transformed to the size of which was a small toy? It seemed awful, yet Jack and Cat could do so many wonderful things when they were in the size of the toys. But wait, who were they? Let's follow our story to find out. The girl is Cat. At the age of 15, it was not difficult to understand why she was immersed in the handsome boys from a musical troupe. Originally, Cat was a docile and lovely girl, but because of the absence of the father and the excessive indulgence of the mother, Cat gradually became less care and interested in other people around her. Just like his sister, Jack also often neglected the housework. He just loved enjoying the dramatic horse races all the times. The two children gradually no longer <coughs> cared about others, even their birth mother. They didn't notice that Dana was critically ill. Till one day, Dana was so sick that her legs trembled as if she could no longer walk steadily. Yet her two children still showed no concern to her at all. Mom? Have you seen the ticket I bought for the show tonight? Are you sure you put it there? Try to find it more carefully. <laughs> <laughs> ah, here it is! Ouch! Jack, what are you doing? Oh, sister, sorry, I didn't notice. I'm in a hurry. Don't be so aggressive like that. <laughs> <laughs> See, you better not fight with me. This brat, you will know when you come back. Going through such arguing every day made Dana very frustrated. She just sat in one place, watching the two beloved children. Dana still remembered <laughs> this was the most meaningful gift she received on her birthday. A gift that came from the love of two children for their mother. They have changed so much now. If only they could return to the innocent days and care for each other like before. If it had to be exchanged by my soul, I would never regret. When the mother's sincere tears fell on the gift, a miracle occurred. Maybe Dana's wish had come true. Somehow, the miracle brought Cat and Jack back to their mother, but in a different form. Two wooden toys. What's going on? Where is this place? Cat? Is that you? Jack? Why am I here? Ahem! Hello, Jack and Kate. Huh? Do you remember me? T Teddy? Teddy? Oh, you guys still remember me. What is happening? Calm down, boy. All things have been arranged for you guys to express yourself mm -hmm. through challenges. And I mm -hmm. will be the one to decide if you guys deserve to come back mm -hmm. or not. Challenge? What challenge? Why us? Everything has its cause. However, I'll tell you when you can make it through. To be able to go back to your original form, both of you must together overcome three challenges, achieve certain conditions. Challenge? But we are so small. What to do now? Of course the challenge will suit your current body shape. Don't worry. So what should we do? The first challenge. Perhaps we have to count on Cat. Me? Do you remember this, my lady? It was dropped out the window by you. Now I want that notebook. You will know what to do soon. Huh? Hmm. Oh, no pain at all. We have to find the notebook. Where should we look for it now? Jack, come here. 
using their sharp observations, they found a very creative way. <gasps> How's it going? Have you seen the book? I saw it over there! Then they found the notebook without much difficulty. Seizing the opportunity, <gasps> Jack and Cap immediately approached the target. However, the notebook wasn't lonely at all. They saw some rats trying to take it away. <sighs> Hurry up! Get this back by tonight. I'll give you two popcorn seeds each. Stop! <gasps> Who just said? That's our notebook. Give it back. It belongs to whom saw it first. <gasps> Get out of here or I'll let someone tear you apart. Cat? You still awake? Rats? Huh? I hate rats! Mm. Oh, I have this for you. Oh? Garlic has an unpleasant smell, but it is very effective mm. at repelling rats, you see? <clears throat> what are you doing? We need to get that notebook, don't we? If we can't fight back, we have to use a plan. <gasps> so Kat used the experience that her mother Ooh. gave her to find an effective <clears throat> solution. <clears throat> and that's how Jack and Kat passed the first challenge, defeated the rats, and got back their mother's notebook. Thanks to Mom, we were able to overcome this challenge. <clears throat> After getting the first item, Teddy Bear was still not satisfied because the notebook was still locked. Congratulations on successfully passing the first challenge. Hurry up, nothing can make it difficult for us. Ha <laughs> ha, let's move on to the second challenge. Where is this? It's London. Exactly. You are in a miniature one and inside Jack's snowball. Surely Jack remembers this gift. You need to find the golden key to open the notebook. Hurry up, time is limited. Hearing that, they immediately began to search for the target of this second challenge. Obviously, finding a key in the heart of the snowy London city was not easy. Have you found it? The snow made it hard to find. Come and give me a hand. <sighs> Look like Jack has found something. Found it? I found it! Jack's shout of joy accidentally put Cat in a dangerous situation. Oh, interesting. What is it, Cat? Look, like I have just activated something, huh? It's a machine! Hold on, I'm coming! Don't come over here! Go get the key! But you were... Go ahead! If you get it, everything will be back to the way it was! That's correct. Cat is such a smart girl. Then wait, don't let your hand off. As soon as he understood the fastest solution, Jack immediately climbed the tower as fast as he could. Cat's screams became the motivation for Jack to try to reach further, but everything couldn't be so easy to achieve. Jack, wanna hear my last words? I'm okay. <laughs> Under the falling snow, the whole scene of London seemed to remind the childhood memories of the rebellious boy with his mother. Mom! And so the second challenge ended perfectly. Good job, ladies! The last challenge, the two of you tell me exactly what Dana's hobbies are. A little hint for you, everything is in this notebook. Taking the clue from Teddy, Jack and Cat immediately used the golden key to search for the answer. As soon as the two children put the key in the notebook, they immediately stood still, unable to move. What's happening? Why can't I move? Teddy? But Cat's questions got no response from Teddy. It turned out that Dana had woken up. She struggled to find the kitchen, planning to cook something for the two children before they were home. Oh my treasure, why are you here? I thought the key was gone. Dana noticed the three dolls next to her, put them on the cabinet next to the book, and gently instructed, Please protect my treasure, little friends. As soon as Dana turned back to the kitchen, Jack and Cat began to feel <sighs> their limbs again. Welcome to the world of toys. As you can see, in human eyes we are just inanimate things, but in reality, you know that you can move. Jack quickly turned the pages of the book. He assumed that his mother must have hidden something inside. But in the end, he couldn't find anything valuable. Is there anything special? Hmm? Wait. Cat continued to open the notebook. She carefully examined each page. There's Meanwhile, no Jack was staring way. intently at his mother, who had always <coughs> been happy to sing while cooking. 
Now she was struggling tirelessly. Maybe my mother likes to cook. The food she cooks is really delicious. Wrong. Good cooking is a talent, not a hobby. Then she must really like to sing. I remember she was always singing when she cooked. Wrong. Dana sang only because she felt lonely. Then it must be... It's us. She loves our smiles. Oh! As if he hadn't understood hmm? Kat's words, Jack wanted to see what was on Dana's precious pages. Turning to the last page of the book, Jack couldn't hold it anymore. Mom! However, it seemed like Dana's illness chose the right time to relapse. Watching their beloved mother fall due to illness, no child could endure the emotions called worry and fear. They worried because they saw their mother in pain. They were scared because they didn't want <gasps> their mother to leave. They regretted because they hadn't been able to repay the sacred love of their mother. Mom! Mom! <laughs> With a mother's premonition, Dana seemed to be able to hear her two beloved children in front of her. At this moment, <gasps> Dana's mind was still all about two very immature children. Oh, you two are home already. The dinner is almost done. Wait a second. When the sentence ended, it was also the time when a soul left the abode. Dana was the one who wished that her two little children could regain the feelings that they had lost over time. And the price was her soul. I have granted Dana's wish. Jack, Cat, you two will be back in your bodies soon. But witnessing this touching scene, how can I heartlessly take away her treasure? A miracle made the choking emotions condense into a beautiful gem. If you want to save your mother, put the soul gem in her mouth. Hurry, before it's too late. Listening to Teddy, Jack tried to find a way to put the gem in Dana's mouth. And just like that, the miracle <laughs> once again happened. It was the love of Jack and Cat that saved Dana's soul. Hmm. Their replaceable family love. What had happened? Huh? <gasps> Mom! <laughs> Don't ever let your mother cry or her tear will tear your mind.